Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Sung Joo Son, Director of Digital Government Corporation Division of the Ministry of the Interior and Safety of the Republic of Korea. It is my pleasure and honor to deliver this presentation about Korea's digital government. This is the order of my presentation. First, I will explain the overview of Korea's digital government. Then I will introduce some best practices. And lastly, I would like to share our future strategy. Let's start with the overview. In South Korea, we have 17,000 information systems in public sector. 89% of the adult population used digital government services, and 98% of users are satisfied with the services. For OECD Open Useful Reusable Data Index, Korea ranked first three times in a row and ranked first for the first OECD Digital Government Index as well, and ranked second for the recent UN e-government survey. It has been more than 50 years since the beginning of digital government in Korea. Pan-government level informatization of the public sector was started in 1980s and 1990s. In 2001, the enactment of e-government act triggered the nationwide scale digital government pr projects with top political priority. In 2010, Korean government integrated services and infrastructure and increased open data to provide better service to citizens. As an outcome, Korea ranked first for UN e-government survey from 2010 to 2014. In these days, we are trying to innovate public services fundamentally through collaboration between the public sector and private sector. These are the public organizations in charge of digital government development and operation. The Ministry of the Interior and Safety, MOIS in short, is in charge of planning and general management of digital government with the support of three public agencies. National Information Society Agency is in charge of general digital government policies and services. And Korea Internet and Security Agency is in charge of cybersecurity. And Korea Local Information Research and Development Institute is in charge of local digital government. Other ministries manage services and systems in their own areas in accordance with the principles and standards established by MOIS. MOIS also provides common components, shared services, and integrated infrastructure for all government entities. This slide shows the legal framework of a Korean digital government. Centering around e-government act, there are 11 laws and many related regulations for implementation and operation of digital government. With these laws and regulations, Korean government facilitates public sector digital transformation and data governance through assuring security, interoperability, and accessibility of systems and data and also protects citizens' privacy and digital rights. This slide shows an overview of major digital government services in Korea. On the basis of a government integrated data center, all the ministries of a Korean government share digital infrastructure such as servers, storages, and networks. Better services for citizens and businesses are provided to implement service-oriented, effective and efficient, and transparent open government. Furthermore, all the ministries use the same systems for common administrative services, such as digital document management, budget accounting, and personnel management.
These are key success factors of Korea's digital government. Innovative and early adopting culture and world top class internet speed helped all people to access and adapt to all digital services. Strong and systematic leadership and decisive and sustained investment played a very important role for many digital government projects to be successful. Rapid growth of IT industry provide sustainable local environment for public digital transformation as well. And most of all, visionary mid-long-term plans enabled consistent and coordinated whole-of-government approach. Now, I would like to introduce some of our best practices. Gov.kr or Gov24 is the front-end integrated portal to all government services for citizens. People can get certificates, submit applications, and search for information through Gov.kr website or Gov24 mobile app. Korean government is improving this service continuously to provide more personalized information and service recommendation for each citizen. For example, Services are categorized by life cycle of a person, and citizens can apply at once for multiple services packaged for lifetime events such as childbirth and inheritance. CONAPS is the single window for public procurement in Korea. This system provides all the services needed for procurement, including bidding, contract signing, and payment. It also has an online shopping mall for free registered commodities. This system is used by all central and local government entities in Korea and processes more than 1 million procurement contracts per year. ePeople is the pan government online platform for civil complaints, opinions, suggestions, and proposals. Once a complaint or proposal is filed, this system relays it to the most relevant institution for one-stop processing. Therefore, citizens do not need to spend time to find a specific government entity to contact with. This system can be integrated with websites of individual organizations, and more than 900 government entities can be connected through this system. It also administers a feedback satisfaction assessment to improve the service quality. Korean government is using data analytics to identify patterns of frequent issues and share the results with relevant organizations to find early solutions. National Information Resources Service, in short NILS, is the agency in charge of operation of government data centers. Currently, we have two data centers for mutual backup and disaster recovery. These centers are providing IT resources for 45 government ministries and agencies. This is the fundamental infrastructure of fan government cooperation among central government entities. Sharing servers and networks makes inter-organizational service integration much easier. Most of all, security is one of the biggest benefits of the integrated data center. We adopted AI solutions to detect and respond to cyber threats. Prior to the adoption of AI, only 1,000 events per day were processed by human experts. And the response took more than 10 minutes. Now, the AI for cybersecurity of NILS processes 10 million security events per day, and it takes less than 30 seconds to process an event. To break down bureaucratic silos and provide a citizen-oriented services, it is essential to share information among ministries and agencies. In Korea, we have established the Public Information Sharing Center to manage and control information sharing. It is a hub to ensure legitimate and efficient data transactions among all government entities and financial institutions. 5,100 types of data are shared 
through automated machine-to-machine -machine communication, and 162 types of information can be searched and used by authorized officials. This system has contributed to CO2 reduction as well by reducing paper usage. The official digital documents of Korean governments are created, processed, and stored by Onnara Business Process System. Onnara means all across the nation in Korean, and Onnara implements the governmental workflows based on digital documents. With this system, government officials report to their colleagues and superiors and exchange documents with other government entities. The system is used by 600,000 government employees in almost 300 agencies and processes 470,000 official documents daily. The documents are in XML-based standard format and encrypted by digital signatures. Moreover, these documents are stored into a searchable and shareable knowledge archive for future reference. With the increasing economic value of data, opening public data has become a very important mission of a government. Data.geo.kr is an integrated open data photo of the Korean government. This website provides about 50,000 data sets from 956 public institutions and more than 7,000 open APIs. For better usability, it also provides data catalog, national core data, and standard data sets. Moreover, Korean government inspects and improves quality of data through annual evaluation of data provision and management. If you want to know more about Korean digital government services, dgovkorea.go.kr may be helpful to you. It is an introduction website of the best practices of Korean digital government. Currently, it has 29 best practices and more will be added in the future. In addition, you can find a virtual reality tour of the digital government exhibit hall located in Korea. Lastly, I would like to present briefly about Korea's strategy to further develop our digital government. This year, Korea had a presidential election in March. The new President Yoon announced a new vision of government as a digital platform in May. Under this vision, the Korean government seeks to implement proactive and personalized services to better satisfy citizens, and nurture collaboration ecosystem between the public and the private sector to promote innovative businesses, and optimize government workflow using data and AI to transform into rational and scientific government. Nine principles should be followed to develop government as a digital platform. A government should actively encourage public-private collaboration to nurture innovative ecosystem and share the growth of the public and the private sector. Public data should be opened by default in machine-readable digital formats. Public services should be user-centered, integrated, proactive, and personalized for each citizen. And a government should break down silos and implement the whole of government services with digital platforms. A government should redesign administrative processes, innovative organizational culture, and overhaul personnel management systems. A government uses data and AI for evidence-based scientific decision-making. A government should protect personal information and ensure safe and reliable access to public services. A government uses and develops open standards to facilitate sharing data and services between the public sector and the private sector. A government should comply with existing global standards and actively contribute to the creation of new global standards in the course of developing government as a digital platform. MOIS will innovate Korea's digital governments according to these principles 
in cooperation with other ministries. I hope today's presentation to be useful for understanding Korea's digital government. Thank you for your time and attention.